Hey there, Mustangs. Welcome to school for the week of September 24th. Let's start the week off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Thanks for the update. This week we have a very important event coming up. Let's learn more about the first Mustang Roundup of the year. Hey there to the students and parents of West Lake STEM. This is an exciting week. This is the week of our first Mustang Roundup of the year. Now, our Mustang Roundups are really our back to school night or parent teacher conferences, but they're done just a little bit differently. Um, they really are done with some sort of a focus on current levels of progress for students, setting a personal best, and then what skill to be able to practice. Um, but at the same time, we want to be able to have the same opportunities that a normal parent-teacher conference would have. So the structure will work like this. Our first Mustang Roundup actually is one day only this week. It's on Wednesday. That's the 26th of September. Um, the main event is from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock in our school gym. You want to be here, we're going to have a barbecue going with some hot dogs. It's going to be a blast. But from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, we're going to have a pretty fun presentation. We might have some performances from students. Um, I'll be presenting a little bit. We'll do some breakouts and work just with your groups at your own tables. It'll have things like our note taking, our organization, our planners, our binders, all, all of the things that are so important at this time of year. Um, from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock, so the two hours leading up to the main event, we will have our teachers in the gym available to do individual conferences for those who would like to, and those are done by appointment. So on our website, westlakestem.org, you can go on and pick any teachers that you'd like to, um, be able to have a quick 10 minute visit, maybe check in with, you can sign up for an appointment with them. Uh, we wanna see every single Mustang and their parents here, parents here for our first Mustang Roundup of the year. We do four of these throughout the year. We just do one night each time. Um, and they somewhat correspond with the midterms of each quarter. So we're about at midterms for first quarter and we'll do one now, we'll do another one in second quarter. But we'd like to see as many as we can for this first one. We'll watch for you this Wednesday night. Thank you, Mustangs. Mustang Roundup. Wow, we're looking forward to that event. If you would like an individual conference with any teacher, please sign up for an appointment on the school website. Let's see another weekly whip around. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Some of these will be the good old days. All the love you won't forget. And all these reckless nights you won't regret. Someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You will miss the magic of these good old days. I was thinking about the band. I was thinking about the fans. We were underground, loading merch in that 12 passenger van. In a small club in Minnesota, and the snow outside of First Ave. I just wanted my name in the star. Now look at where we at, still growing up. Still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become. Couldn't wait to get older. Couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. Told me, babe, that someday these will be the good old days. All the love you won't forget, and all these reckless nights you won't regret. Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You'll miss the magic of the good old days. Wish I didn't think I had the answers. Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first. 
Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and that full time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe So young, maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was. Maybe these are the moments. Maybe I've been missing what it's about. Been scared of the future, thinking about the past while missing out on now. We've come so far. I guess I'm proud. At night, worry about the wrinkles around my smile. I got some scars. I've been around. I felt some pain. I've seen some things, but I'm here now. Those good old days. You don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes, oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. You don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes. Love it. Thanks for sharing. The literary crew is getting ready for the first publication of the new school year. Let's hear more about that. Hey Mustangs, Miss Coons here. I'm so excited to talk to you about our literary magazine, which we are looking for submissions for right now. This is coming out the end of October, so we're looking for scary stories, poems, art, anything you wanna submit. We also are accepting submissions in English and Spanish. You can check out the webpage westlakestem.org for the submission link and get them in soon so we can add them. Thanks. So cool. Thanks for getting that ball rolling. The PTSA will meet this week. Let's learn more. Hey there, Mustangs. Please remember that this Tuesday, there will be a PTSA meeting. Come to C52 right at, right at the start of second period. Thanks, Mustangs. Hey there, Mustangs. I am in privileged company right now, and I would like to give our PTSA president, Mrs. Ann Peterson, a little opportunity to explain what we're doing. So we had a logo contest to design the PTSA logo for this year and this is our winner of our logo contest and this is the logo that he drew. This is Grayson Bigler and he's in seventh grade and so this is going to be our logo that we're now going to put on hats and shirts so that we can sell and we have a $25 gift card to Amazon for Grayson for winning. Woo! Woo Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Grayson. It's an awesome logo. We'll make sure everyone gets a good chance to see it up close. And thank you to Mrs. Peterson. Thank you. PTSA members can go directly to C52 to start second period on Tuesday. Make sure you have your membership card. Let's turn to Mr. Howe for an important um, announcement of how you can earn more crazy points. Mustangs, for those of you who were here last year, you remember that we had um, several school-wide goals that we pursued, one of which was a school-wide goal to see how many boxes in one quarter we could fill out in our planner. This is our planner for this year. Um, and I want to do something similar, but make it a little bit more an individualized effort. Um, I have been so impressed with the students I'm seeing being so diligent on writing down their learning objective and also their assignments or homework in their planner for every period, every single day. So 
individually, I'd like to be able to reward that as a school and as your principal to compensate you for your diligent effort on this. I am awarding you two points per box starting this week, okay? So we're doing this moving forward. Two points per box that you fill out. Now, hopefully your teachers are helping you do this and this is part of the pattern or routine of your class. But even if it's not or it's forgotten in a class period, that doesn't prohibit you from being on top of it and making sure your planner's out and that you're filling this out. Um, so by the end of the week, you could have 50 points just from filling out your planner like you should be doing anyway. So just a little thing to be pursuing as we go into this next week, ways to get more crazy points. Thank you, Mustangs. Thanks, Mr. Howe. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media. Grades are meant to show what a student knows and is able to do with respect to classroom content that has been taught. They communicate progress toward proficiency of subject standards and encourage the student to act on feedback and the teacher to adjust and individualize instruction. With a simple letter grade, much of this important information is lost. That's why for the past few years, Granite School District has been researching a grading system that focuses on a student's ability to apply their knowledge and accurately reflects areas of academic strength and weakness. This grading system is called proficiency-based grading. It represents a shift in grading practice from points to proficiency. Let's look at a comparison. With a point system, homework is counted for grades even though students are just learning new concepts. Extra credit may be given to bolster poor grades due to unlearned concepts. Grades are not always an accurate reflection of student learning because of penalties or rewards of student behavior, such as late work, completion, or participation. Under proficiency-based grading, homework is given for practice. Feedback on homework is given, but not points. Extra credit is not necessary. Instead, students are provided with multiple opportunities to demonstrate their proficiency in a specific standard. The academic grade is reflective of only academic performance. Behaviors are recorded in the citizenship grade. Proficiency-based grading also includes multiple opportunities to demonstrate proficiency. Let's compare again. With a point system, assessments of learning may not identify which standards are being addressed. Assessments may be given once and no process is in place to address unlearned material. And the actual assessment of learning may be a single type of high-stakes test. In proficiency-based grading, assessments are tied to specific standards to inform a student's progress and proficiency. There are frequent opportunities to demonstrate proficiency. If a student doesn't perform well on an assessment, additional opportunities will be available to show proficiency. So for students and parents, what does this grading system look like? Here's a sample report in Gradebook. The student is still given a letter grade in junior and senior high schools, and elementary students will receive a proficiency score in each content area. Within each standard, the student is given a proficiency score on a one to four scale. These proficiency scores will be displayed for all elementary, junior, and senior high students. We can now clearly see the specific content areas where the student is proficient, where they need improvement, and areas of most concern. Using this information, teachers can make adjustments, students can act on feedback, and parents can provide concentrated support for their children.